We're a little over two months away from the Democratic National Convention taking center stage in Chicago. There's some real questions about whether Chicago police are ready after mistakes were made after the George Floyd protests. RT Ewing spent some time today with CPD as they unveiled some of their training. CPD showed us their training drills in preparation for DNC. It's part of keeping up constitutional policing and not infringing on anyone's rights during protests. This is what preparation looks like. 2,500 members of the Chicago Police Department will undergo these inspections by a supervisor daily before going out on the streets during the Democratic National Convention. Their star number and name tag must be shown at all times. Everyone will be wearing body cam, so anytime they're engaging in a police action, that body cam should be activated. In 2021, Chicago's Office of Inspector General released a report saying CPD's response to the civil unrest after the death of George Floyd a year earlier found the department to be under-equipped and under-prepared for large-scale public demonstrations. The department says they've learned from it and now everyone that will be on the streets for the DNC will go through 48 hours of updated training. Officers are learning how to protect themselves if items are thrown at them. There's also the ability to get an officer or someone else out of a crowd if they need medical attention. And there's a new protocol for relief for officers that have been on the front lines of protests too long. It's absolutely a de-escalation tactic, right? Because again, we have to think about how officers perform cognitively when they're out there for long periods of time, possibly dehydrated. We know it's August. It's going to be extremely hot out there. Changes are also being made to the way police deal with mass arrests. It means more supervision on location and debriefings afterwards. Making sure we're efficient in our arresting processing. Obviously, it's unsafe for the arrestees and the arresting officers when we have significant delays in arresting processing. 50 thousand visitors and over 50 protests are expected in Chicago. The Secret Service will provide security inside the perimeter of the United Center, but everything else outside of that CPD will have to cover. Superintendent Larry Snelling says his department is prepared for that and to handle crime elsewhere. We want to make sure that every neighborhood has uh, uh, a police force that can respond to crime and criminal activity that's occurring in their neighborhoods, especially that of a violent nature. Superintendent Snelling says arrest and use of force will happen, but only as a last resort. Tia Ewing, Fox 32, Chicago.